Updating the headlines of the moment, 26 days after the attack on America, the U.S. fights back. U.S. and British armed forces struck Taliban and terrorist sites in Afghanistan with 50 cruise missiles, among other things. President Bush said today's salvo marked only the start of a, quote, sustained, comprehensive, and relentless campaign against terrorism. For the families of the more than 5,600 people who died in last month's attack, the sense of loss remains very real. But as Eric Ingberg tells us, for the members of one U.S. Defense Department family, even a sense of double loss does not dim their pride. Darren H. Pontell. Darren Pontell's graduation from the Naval Academy three years ago was a happy occasion that had its roots in a family tragedy. Twelve years ago, Darren's older brother, Stephen, training to become a Navy pilot, was killed in a crash aboard a carrier. Soon, Darren set his course on the Navy. His older brother was a, an Academy grad who didn't finish the job he started out to do. And I think Darren wanted to finish that job. And at graduation, he shook the president's hand and pointed to his parents. And I wondered, wow, what was he doing? Was he saying, I'm number one? And all he said, I, what I was doing was like saying, Mom and Dad, I did it. When Darren married his wife, Devorah, it was Stephen's officer's sword that cut the wedding cake. Just so you know, the, uh, the sword that was used in the cake cutting was my brother's sword, Stephen's sword, and we needed to have him here in spirit. One wall of the Pontel home in Columbia, Maryland, has long been devoted to Stephen's memory. And now, sadly, they are planning a second permanent tribute to Darren, who was killed September 11th when the terrorist-controlled airliner crashed into the Pentagon offices where he worked. The Pentagon had been his second Navy assignment after six months as an intelligence officer aboard a carrier. The fact that he was on a ship for six months made me so nervous, not knowing what was out there and who was out there, and, and then um, just, it was very scary. And uh, when, he went to, when he said he was going to the Pentagon, I thought, this is great, not, not a worry. He was on the fast track, training to be one of the few who gives intelligence briefings to senior admirals. Darren was incredibly thoughtful and generous, and he had a sparkle in his eyes and a smile that would just light up the room. Just, it was amazing. There is grieving and anger at the attackers in the Pontel household, but mostly there is pride. I have boys were doing what they wanted to be doing. They were proud to be Americans and to serve their country. Hopefully our sons died for a reason that would keep us free. Two weeks ago, Lieutenant Darren Pontell, U.S. Navy, was buried next to his brother, Stephen. Eric Engberg, CBS News, Columbia, Maryland. With those American fighting men and women in action tonight, we want to consider a paraphrase of what General James Gavin once said. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of every American go with you. And that's part of our world tonight. Stay here with CBS News in this CBS station for the latest on America Strikes Back, including a special two-hour edition of 60 Minutes that's coming up later tonight, as well as complete wrap-ups tomorrow on the early show and here on tomorrow's CBS Evening News. With a reminder again, special two-hour edition of 60 Minutes tonight. I'm Dan Rather, CBS News in New York. Good night. For news 24 hours a day, cbs.com on the internet and on our interactive partner, America Online, at keyword CBS News.